All right, this is actually one of my favorites because uh, I always find some pretty good stuff in here. What is up there? I like the look of these little mugs. I'm having way too much fun on this end cap. <laughs> I do really like this store. I do really like this store. What are you? Wait a minute, hold the, hold the fort. Is it a goat? Now I've talked them into going to a Goodwill that not too many want to go to because it, it does go through a very questionable area but we're in a group and we will be fine and there's really good stuff at that store so i can't wait to show it to them so on the road we go all right this is actually one of my favorites because uh, i always find some pretty good stuff in here so. <sighs> misty's got her got lucky card i got my lucky card is jamie gonna get her lucky card no? All right. All right. No lucky card for Jamie. We'll get all the lucky stuff then. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Ooh, right off the bat. Bada bing, bada boom. I love these. I love the feel. They are heavy for their size. I know they come from Ikea, but Ikea is not bad quality. Made in Sweden. How much are they? $3.99 a piece. I like, you know, I would actually decorate with these if I don't sell them. So I have to pay eight bucks for them, but I'm pretty sure that's a good deal. This right here has got a Hollywood Regency kind of look and feel to it, but it's, um, it's like a cardboard coated with something. See, again, I like how they do all the little end copy things here in San Diego. It was one of my inspirations behind how I set up my store is shopping out here. Sometimes these can be some anthropology type guys. I don't think these ones are. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. And I'm actually gonna be looking stuff up, editing this video while I'm still here. So if that ends up being something really good, I could definitely come back for it. That's an interesting piece too. Twelve ninety nine. Hmm. Hmm. Anything else? What is up there? I like the look of these little mugs. Two, 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 fifth. Two, 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 fifth. Makes some really nice patterns. This also looks like an Ikea quality vase. Not quite as exciting as the blue. To me, anyway. Let's see. Ooh. What are you? I don't know, but you're awful pretty also. $7.99. Look at the colors in that. I really love it. Yep, I'm grabbing it. All right. Let's go over here. Oh, looks like somebody did a little uh, paint and wine party kind of thing going on there. They got the Valentine theme alive and well. You think over here. The problem with this section here is I always forget which ones I've looked at and which ones I haven't. I get a little lost. That's purple. That is blingy and purple. Looks, oh, here's got a name on it. Dacen, 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 Dacen. Oh, it's brand new too. And then there's more purple. Okay, I'm looking, see, I'm seeing how they're doing theirs. So they've got like a cardboard foldy thing in here. These are the same racks that I have, but they put some cardboard foldy things. That's what we gotta do. That makes the shoes all kind of stand up. 
That is a really cute little bunny. Who makes you? You are a 1993. 1993. Oh, it's it's a tie? Who would have thunk that that was a tie? $2.99. You know, Easter's right around the corner, and I love him. I love him. And this guy does not look like he's very good quality. Yeah, trend candle run. These are stone. Genuine marble, water stone, handcrafted in Mexico for $2.99. And for $2.99, this one's got a little, little tiny bit of chipping on it, but not bad, not bad. I like those, grabbing them. This guy, oh, I expected him to have some weight and he has no weight to him, he's hollow. And he's $9.99, I don't know much about him, but I'll leave him for somebody else. That's stone also. Again, onyx stone, hand carved. $4.99. It kind of goes with those candle holders, doesn't it? And then I could sell it all as a set. I think I'll grab that too. This has an anthropology look to it. There are some chips on the little petals though. How about some potatoes? These are little project piece potatoes. I say potatoes because there are two of them. We don't need potatoes. Not this time anyway. Ooh, he's heavy. Who are you? You are Mount St. Helens sculptures. From what I can remember, these just don't have a whole lot of resale value. That's a interesting piece too. But what I'm really trying to get to is this canister down here. It is a little vintage canister. It's like a, I think it's like a tin. It's a little, it's a little scratched up. I'm not sure. I may confer with my other vintagey friends over here and see what they think on that one. I am also going to look at this one. I wish it was a set, but no, this is one of the newer ones that you just put pet food in. So we're going to pass on that one. Misty, what do you think about that piece? I mean, I think that it's, I don't, it doesn't do anything for me, but I think that resale value wise, I don't know. I don't really pick up colors, this kind of stuff. It's, too, it's just, yeah. It's not colorful enough. Gotcha. You concur? Concur. concur. Look at, look at. I got concurrence. <gasps> what well, Jay, did you find? Jay found all of them. Oh, those are those are so you. But here's some day that's fifty dollars. So. It's, it's yeah, old. Look at the inside though. Oh it my. Looks like completely brand new. Oh my. Yeah. And it's what? Forty nine. What is it? Dance. Oh, it's dance. I like how you say that. Dance. 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 I'm from, <laughs> I'm from here. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're putting know, this back. Yeah, that's probably a little steep. Oh, come at it from another angle and you find other things. Oh, I thought those were wood, not wood. Okay. I see a piece of, it's faux coral, but it's a really cool color. It's got a couple little broken pieces. I actually decorate with these myself and I can never afford them like at home goods or anything. They're always really priced out of my budget. And uh, so 13, for personal use is not bad, and I think I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna peek at this jar back here that's got a rooster on it. And I think this is supposed to look like chicken wire. It's $4.99, that's a stained or flashed color. So I think I'm gonna leave it for that reason. This one is not exciting at all. And that's not exciting at all. And these are the same. That's kind of like that home goods IKEA esque kind of kind of thing going there. This is kind of cool, but again, for the size and the quality, it's too big of a hassle factor to pick that one up. Oh look, he's got a little friend. Go up here now. There now you got the cell factor going on. I see this little glass duck. Is he glass or is he plastic? Oh, you know what? He's plastic. You fooled me, little duck. It's just an alligator. It just says drink. It just says drink. Oh, does it go like on your glass or something? Like a, a marker? Yeah, we're still Yeah. 
Look at this cute little guy. No questions asked. Molina's, hand painted in Italy. I'm kind of loving it for $3.99. I will be grabbing that. This actually has a nice little look to it too. 10 bucks. It's a little on the big side for a contemporary piece for me. Designed exclusively for Sullivan Gift. Oh, another little bird. Oh, it's a 2225th. And then there's. Oh, look at this cat mic. Oh, that's a drag. Okay. Darn it. I would have picked that up if that hadn't had that damage to it. And then these glasses. There's a pair of these, and I'm trying to figure out. I think they're painted by someone. Look, there's another one over there. I think that's somebody's little project. Are you? You're melamine. I've been doing really well with melamine trays lately. It just says melamine, made in China exclusively for Keller Charles, Philadelphia. I don't know. It's got a really nice look to it. Yep. Non-breakable, easy to ship. Nice uh, hydrangea on there. I'm going to pick that one up. I'm having way too much fun on this end cap. <laughs> that looks like a little hand-painted bird. He's nice, but he's 10 bucks, so I'm going to leave that one. That looks like it might be... Oh, it had a very blue sky look to it, but it's uh, personalized for somebody there. Yeah, and that's that Dansk, Dansk cookware that they were looking at, Coben style. 50 bucks though, 50 bucks. What do we got up here? Make sure you, Mayfair Collection by Jay. It's kind of pretty, that looks Italian as well. Let's see. Oh, it is a Deruda. Now, I've talked about Deruda before, but I believe Deruda just means uh, a word that just means like handmade. Yes, I know. I just dropped the rose. Uh, and the ones that I pick up actually have another name on them. Hmm. This piece is $10. I think I'm going to leave it. I've got plenty of things that I'm going to be buying here while I'm in San Diego, but I do actually really like this rose. I wonder if the rose is for... I like this rose. All right, we'll put the rose back. I don't need it. Look at this little girl. You are a little Kokeshi doll. I feel like something is amiss here on the front, and I'm not sure what that would have been. She's got... She's stretchy. I don't understand that quite why she's got like a stretchy head and I don't know what this is so I think I'm gonna leave her a little trinket dish not too exciting does that say that's kind of nice but it is more of an amateur piece the Biltmore from the Biltmore it is $5.99 you would have had to have spent $22 at the Biltmore for that mug hmm. make sure you you're made by Amthor made in Japan Amthor imports have a nice look too but I'm not home so I'm gonna leave those just because I want to save my money and my space for just you know the ultra desirable things or things that just really spark joy in me that I want to deal with I should say that because I know you see some meat and you put some things in the cart and you go but Danny you know like a big old plate no we're not getting that Oh, that is so heavy. Oh, stay. All right. Oh, what does the fox say? That's a cute mug. 
Not for $4.99 though. Little Starbucks. Not for $4.99 though. Alright. Mm, nothing else on this shelf. Oh, that looks like an upside down piece of Fenton Silvercrest for $2.99. That's a lovely little dish. We will grab that. Let's see a giraffe. Oh, he's stone. I did not expect him to be stone. I expected him to be, I don't know what I expected him to be, but you know what? Now he's gonna be in my cart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I just picked up a piece like this the other day. Okay, Betty, you go over there. Um, that did not have the lid. This one has the lid. Oh, it is $7.99 though. I like the price I paid better on the other one. Okay, let's keep it moving. Look at that, he's got a friend. He's got a friend on the shelf. I have another piece of this at home. Joe Schuber, Joe Schuber, 2013. So I don't think this is the same as the one I have at home. It's just the same style. This has a lot of, oops, a lot of little like pock marks in it, telling me it's more somebody who was learning to uh, do pottery. It's not bad, it's not bad at all, but uh, just not something that I wanna pick up. Thomas O'Brien, I like the color of those. I do see the Starbucks mug, but they do want $10 for it. It's a very rare Starbucks mugs that uh, brings the big money anymore. More and more, they're a little bit more generic. This is a Van Gogh by Goebel. Van Gogh by Goebel for $14.99. That's pretty stunning. It's pretty stunning. Ah, and it's pretty chipped. Darn it, I was gonna pick that up. I was gonna grab that, I was gonna grab that. It has a very Odagiri look to it. With the airplanes, it's hard to find like super like masculine type gift items. Like the, I think, I know, three bucks, a little more than I wanna pay, but you know what, it's, it's got a really great look. I'm gonna grab that. That is a big old cookie jar. Is it meant to, oh, I guess it's meant to be a little offset that let's see if it's got a name on it oh it's really really chipped unfortunately yeah that's cool it's a cool cookie jar oh my gosh that's a goofy peeking out from under the bushes here he's a year 2000 disney goofy look at that his eyeballs make the other two zeros so He's got some age on him, so we'll grab him too. I do need to put together another Disney Whatnot sale. I haven't done one for a while. And uh, my Disney sales are usually pretty fun and, and do pretty good. Does that say Peru? I think that says Peru on this one. Unfortunately, it's got a big chip. But that's how you get, like, that's terracotta. That red clay is terracotta and it's used in places like Italy and obviously Peru now. I didn't know Peru was a place that used that, but now I do, now I do. That's got some fun colors, but I was really spotting these veggie platters here. A Fetti, handmade in Italy. I really, really dread shipping platters, so I probably will not pick those up, but let's take a peek. Since we're already down here, let's see what this bird montage. Oh my gosh. Very heavy. Very heavy. <laughs> El Garu. Three pieces. You guys stay. You stay there. El Garu. That's what that says. These are nice. Nice quality. There's three of them for ten bucks. I'm gonna grab these. I do really like this store. I do really like this store. <gasps> Does that? I can be, uh, let's say. Is that Harry Potter? Is that like a Hogwarts symbol reference Harry Potterness? I think it is. 
and we've got a live love bark ray dunn dog bowl by magenta i may look that up some things still do good in queso emergency jalapeno business <laughs> oh my goodness okay who makes you that's just kind of fun right there oh your mud pie mud pie is kind of a boutique brand that's really fun i just i i just like that okay i'm grabbing that so this one still sells for 20 to 25 but that's not enough for me to deal with it today this is cute oh it's a target brand the threshold that's just really cute you know not that this kind of stuff can't sell like if this is your jam and and you like this kind of stuff by all means there's a resale value in cute kitcheny stuff even if it did originally come from target don't be thwarted by the fact that it's not old i hope that that's what i'm a good example of is picking up things that yes have a resale value but also things that you just you just really like to deal with that sparks some joy like this little daisy condiment jar here for $3.99 see i love it i could see this in my house and so i think somebody else will love it so i'm gonna get it let's see i'm anxious to go see what everybody else is finding i know i saw some really cute stuff in the other carts already so i hope they're happy i suggested this place oh my gosh there's two mickey mouse phones one thing about coming to california there's lots of disney stuff well because there is a disneyland these are older phones I'm not seeing a price something tells me they probably have a pretty good price on them but let's see oh yeah forty dollars forty dollars i'm not sure what those go for but hmm that's very cool oh and this might actually have some value because it has been huge news that is it oh gosh which one is it rick or is it morty one of them has been let go um from the organization that creates the Rick and Morty uh, cartoon. So, you know what? I think because of that, I'm gonna grab that. That's a cool phone too, the Spirit of St. Louis, but I have a, I don't even need to look. I can tell if they priced Mickey at 40, I'm pretty sure that's probably at least 42. Are you uh, strangling a giraffe? No, it's so cute. Because we already know how you feel about giraffes. Do you think that they let this on the plane with me? Her next victim. If they let this on the plane. Are you going to make a purse out of it? Yeah, no. That's, that's really <laughs> this is a purse. No. It's your next victim. No. I found a basket of, I found a basket of puppies. Hold on. It's a basket of puppies for $7.99. I know they're chocolate labs. It's a whole whole basket of puppies. I kind of have to have it. Yeah, they're they're stuck. They're they're in that basket. They ain't coming out and eating or pooping or nothing. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? We got a really big oversized Sylvester and Bugs Bunny and I don't know who the youngsters are in that did they have children did they grow up and have children did i miss like a whole phase where bugs bunny and sylvester grew up and had children <laughs> how did that happen apparently i did that's a great sign that is a great sign 12.99 for that great sign all right we'll just remember the sentiment this is a little puzzle box but it's missing one of the key pieces there unfortunately but those can do pretty good flowers and garden oh these guys are cool they are vintage 20 bucks for the set that's probably about where they're at it's 20 bucks oh is that a raccoon or a fox i do not need a las vegas bell <laughs> but thank you you think that's a raccoon? Or I think it's a raccoon. It's not a fox? Because I really wanted to sing, What does the fox say? I, it's a 
fox. Look at that tail. It's a fox. I think so. Who makes you? I don't know who makes you. Oh, it's got, I know, if it didn't have a big chip on it, it would be splendid. But the chips kind of do it in. This is the exact dog bowl a little drink, drink gator. I, I like this piece. I thought it was like three and, oh wait, somebody, somebody's trickering me. Actually, that's even better because I really just like the uh, candles. But they are from Big Lots. Yeah. I was looking to see what was Big Lots before it was. I don't know. Someone, someone else had asked me that too, and I couldn't remember. It was Pick and Save. Something was it? Like yeah. Because like these got a really nice look to them. I really think these are vintage. I'm looking to see if there's any kind of a date on them. $4.99. I like them. I like these. Let me see how much the other ones are. So they are $4.99, $3.99, $2.99. I don't know. There's just something really, really appealing about them. I'm going to grab them. So Misty found this cute little Starbucks duck mug. Spring 2007. Who knew? Starbucks did cute little things like such. That's got to be worth at least, at least 10 to 12, if not more. So I think I'll take a chance on him. I want a bubble crab. Look at, oh, that's not a crab. Unless it's a green crab. It tricked me, making me think it would be a red crab. I see a couple things here. I see a, a Stitch from Lilo and Stitch for $3.99. It's probably like a 10 to 12. And I think this is a squish mallow. Yes, it is. Uh, it's got a mermaid tail. It's a mercat. It's a mercat. It's a little. It's a little squished and well loved, and yeah, it's got some stains on it. I don't see a price. Yeah, it's pretty. It's kind of grungy. Okay, we'll just we'll stick with him. Oh, what are you? Wait a minute. Hold the hold the four. Is it a goat? Oh my gosh, it is a goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. I gotta have the goat. I see flamingos. $5.99. They're plastic rattan. They're not even like the real rattan. Super cute though. It's a cool purse, but it is 20 bucks. It's a, it's a sack. It's a good purse, but we need better bargains than that. Must have better bargains. We've got a mermaid. Ooh, she's heavy. What is she made of? Holy smokers. I don't know. She's kind of cool holding her little pearl. She's a candle holder. She's 25, though. Nope, we'll pass on that. We will look at the turtle. It's kind of open. It's got, it's like a shade. Is it a shade? That's interesting, but it is cracked all the way through there. That's a bummer. Oh, wow. Look at the elephant table. It is wood, carved wood. Ooh, it's $250. But that is really cool, except the only thing that would make it better is if those trunks were up. Those trunks are all down. Not as desirable. It's a zebra. Oh, it's uh, what does that say? Can anybody read that? C.E. Cowell? C.E. Cowell? All right, all right. Comes from the Wild Animal Park. Okay, is that a fox or a dog? That? Wait, why is there a dog on the inside and a, why? It's Pottery Barn. It, whoa, that's. I think that's a wolf and then that's a puppy. But it's like a beagle puppy, right. and that's like a. I think it's like an ancestral like a, thing. It's, it's and it oh, we're, it's for once barn. we're not overthinking it enough. <laughs> but pottery barn is good. It's good. Pottery barn is good. Three, I, I'll pick that up. Yeah. I was telling Mark about your bowl. My cat's. Very <laughs> they're not silent about it. They're very 
very verbal. Hi, hello, are you finding all the good stuff? Did you see the dog bowls back there? They're really cute, yes. <laughs> what about this? What about a little cheetah? What a little cheetah print? Come on. It's kind of nice. It doesn't feel like you're a giraffe. <laughs> Okay, that was super fun. I am heading to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on the resale market. That's coming up right now. about asking this, but if you wouldn't mind, could you take a moment and hit that subscribe button? It would really mean a lot to me as I am trying to get to 100K so I can get a dedicated YouTube customer support person. Thank you for helping me with that. Well, that was super fun. I uh, found some really, really good things there and talking with the, um, the clerk who is checking me out she says yeah we get like the best stuff at this goodwill i don't know why that is the location the i don't know it's not it's not i guess maybe there's a lot of high rises and stuff around here so i guess there are some really um like high income type places around here and then this would be the obvious place for their donations and stuff to go but this this goodwill i'm telling you if you're in, in the san diego area go to the goodwill on what are we 16th street 16th 16th and something I can't see anyway yeah that one uh, and you will find some really good stuff all right I'm gonna get back to the house I think Jordan has ordered some dinner and uh, gonna enjoy the rest of the evening you go be profitable and make it fun mm -hmm.